There are so many ants on the earth that they form a greater mass than all humanity put together. This is 10 things you didn't know about ants. Number 10. Ants have GPS. Without ever seeing daylight, an ant knows how deep underground it is in the nest, even without an iPhone. According to Professor Walter Schenkel of the Biological Service Department of the FSU, ants know where they are in the nest, and contrary to popular belief, the ants exchange jobs as they age, leaving the younger workers to attend to duties deeper in the nest, and the older ants close to the surface, where they often take on the graveyard duty, which involves the removal and disposal of corpses. Number 9. Ants bury their dead, or at least dump them. Speaking of the graveyard shift, Science hippies discovered that adding pheromones of a dead ant to the body of a living one caused some strange behaviour. Due to women arrogance, we falsely assume that all living creatures depend on sight as much as we do to get around and know what is happening in the world. And of course, we're wrong. Professor Edward Wilson of Harvard University knew this way back in the 1950s and decided he would attempt to make the living dead. He achieved this by adding the chemicals produced by a decomposing ant to the back of a living one, and watched the other ants picked it up and dumped it in the ant's cemetery. Although this must have been rather disturbing for the zombie ants in question, it did prove that ants don't care about what they see, but more about what they smell. If he was wondering about the zombie ants, well, after a few hours of cleaning herself, she managed to jump right back in and join the colony and continue her daily chores. Number 8. Ants have got us beat again. Approximately 12,000 years ago, the first humans became somewhat primitive farmers, and although we think this is a great achievement, we now know that ants have been farming for the last 50 million years. It gets worse. Ants not only have us beating farming, but they've also been using antibiotics for millions of years as well. Less than a century ago, humans learned to employ antibiotics for medical purposes, whereas ants have been using antibiotic secretions from bacteria to manage their fungus gardens for millions of years, said Christian Raibling of Arizona State University. Deep in South and Central America, you can find over 200 species of atine ants that employ ant fungus mutualism, cultivating fungus from dead leaves with several such as leaf cutter ants cutting and collecting fresh leaves to grow their gardens on. Number 7. Ants evolved from wasps Ants first evolved from wasps and bees in the Cretaceous period around 140 million years ago, and fossils from that era display more wasp-like features than the ants that exist today. Scientists discovered this by comparing ants to other insects and concluded that wasps were the most likely candidates. In the 1990s, Dr. Ward and the other science hippies from the University of California began sequencing genes of insects to find this out. Recently though, the rapid advance of computers and of gene sequencing technology has allowed this research to move forward in great bounds, and after sequencing hundreds of genes from bees and wasps, the computers point to the mud dauber wasp as the most likely candidate. Not only does the research point to ants being closely related to the wasp, but also that bees are, and both may have evolved from the most hated picnic visitor. Number 6. Ants are the most successful insect. With over 13,800 species of ant that have been classified so far, and an estimated 9,000 more species yet to be described, ants are extremely abundant in the Earth's ecosystem. You can find them almost anywhere with a few exceptions, such as the South Pole, Iceland, Greenland and a few islands. I, unlike ants, however, have no problems with anyone from the South Pole, Iceland, Greenland or a few islands. I would gladly accept you into my nest if you click the subscribe button, like the video and maybe left a comment below. Number 5. Fastest Mouth in the West Odontomarchus, or trapjaw ants, have the fastest moving parts of all insects. Their jaws are capable of snapping shut at between 35 and 64 meters per second, or 78 to 145 miles per hour if that measurement system floats your boat. Not only do these speedy little mouth parts act as formidable hunting weapons, but also in defense allowing the ant to use the spring ability, much like the reverse spring tail. Tiny hairs mounted above the mouth detect the distance from an object or foe so that they can ensure a successful snap with its jaws. 
If the animals come into contact with any form of resistance, it can escape quickly by snapping against it and creating a recoil effect that propels the ant backwards and more importantly, away from the potential foe. Number 4. Ants Keep Cattle The symbiotic relationship between some ant species and aphids have been well documented and studied. Aphids consume large quantities of plant matter and dispose of their sugars, or honeydew, after digestion. In short, they crap sugar water. Whilst the very idea of consuming excrement as a human makes us shudder and pull our faces in disgust, ants don't appear to have the same issues. Ants will happily slurp up the sugary goodness that is deposited by the aphids straight from the source, and will gladly jam their faces up to an aphid's butthole to drink it. As this is a symbiotic relationship, the aphids in turn also receive a reward, protection. Clamps may have a little surprise for them. The clamps! Right? Aphid predators like ladybirds, mantis and parasites are deterred by the ants and in some cases the predator's eggs are destroyed by the ants on site. Furthermore, when the plant the aphids have infested is depleted, the ants will collect the aphids and ferry them into a nice new plant to consume. Ants have even been known to store the aphid eggs in their nest over winter and then carry them to a fresh plant once the climate is deemed acceptable. Number 3. Humans are puny. Orbo will now introduce tonight's candidates. Puny human number one, puny human number two, and Morbo's good friend Richard Nixon. Have you ever seen the World's Strongest Man contest and was amazed by someone that can lift their own body weight over their head? Then just imagine what it would like to be an ant. An average person could lift a double-decker bus and run down the street with it. That would come in handy when dealing with those obnoxious drivers that take up two parking spaces. The Asian weaver ant can lift approximately 100 times its own mass and other species have lifting capabilities from 10 to 50 times their own mass on average. So even the weaklings would put us to shame. Number 2. Ouch! It has been documented that the bullet ant, Paraponera clavata, has one of the most painful stings of any insect and is also the second largest ant species to grace the earth at 1.2 inches or just over 30 millimeters. The ant gets its common name as it is said to be akin to being shot by a bullet. The sting of the bullet ant is currently the highest on the Smith sting pain index at 4 plus and to quote Mr. Schmidt, the pain is like walking over flaming charcoal with a three inch nail embedded in your heel. He's obviously never stepped on Lego in his bare feet. Number one, everybody's favorite subject, slavery. If you thought the people of African continent that raided their own people to sell to Arab traders and later Europeans were the only despicable animals on the planet, then you would be very wrong. This behaviour among ants is very unusual, but has evolved separately over several species in different continents. The practice involves raiding nests of a similar species and stealing their young and rearing them as new workers for their own nest. This practice is called slave raiding and happens from time to time when the slaver ants need to replenish the supply of workers. This can often result in tens of thousands of ants being enslaved in a single season. Most of the ants that are stolen are pupae, but on occasion adults are also taken and forced to work for the host colony. I do hope you found this video on ant facts interesting and would consider liking and subscribing down below, maybe leaving a comment of what other animal you think I should go for next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time with the Assassin Bugs.